Good morning everybody, Peter Smith here. Uh, just a little reminder, any of you bought my book, there'll be a link below on the website for a website address where you can, where you can buy one. It's a good read. Uh, I've been trying to get some opportunities to do some speaking engagements with this. Talk about that a little bit later on. Well, I'm over here at in New York. Uh, been busy the last few weeks. Had a conference in Arizona, which was good. I uh, gave away 60 of those books to uh, different UN delegates from uh, New York and Geneva. Uh, Transatlantic Christian Council is going to pay me for those, which is nice. I uh, went and had a, had a week with my brother Bruce and his family in, in California, near San Diego, which was very nice, um, reasonably warm, uh, was, was good, uh, good uh, where he lives at Del Mar, very nice little spot, uh, a little bit left wing over there, but you can't have everything. Uh, and then I'm back here now in New York, uh, been back a week. Uh, negotiations for Commission on Social Development is um, is um, ongoing at the moment. So I did a little flyer here uh, about sexual and reproductive health. It that snuck in last year, which was unfortunate. So I'm trying to encourage them to not have that uh, bad term because it includes abortion. We all know it includes abortion. Some pretend it doesn't, but we think it really does, so it's best not to be in there. Just a genuine reference to health is fine and all you need. Now, yesterday I had a little bit of, uh, little bit of fun in um, conference room five. Uh, First Minister of Scotland was there, Nicola Sturgeon. She'd snuck over once before. Um, funny business, having... Um, First Minister of Scotland at the UN, not a devolved power, uh, international diplomacy and all the rest of it, but, well, there you go. So I sat in the meeting and uh, heard a lot of nonsense and carry on, and sadly she's going to go for a second independence referendum. She was very, very certain about that. And sort of thought that, oh, well, you'd be independent, but all still around the same table. I thought, what a load of nonsense. Anyway, anyway, so, so, um, I thought I'd ask her a question about, um, you know, all this transgender stuff and what she's wanting to do in schools and, and uh, I said, very concerned about my grandchildren. My daughter doesn't want them taught transgender stuff. And, you know, would she be taking children off out of parents' custody because they don't go along with all this nonsense? And, oh, no, no, she says, not going to be doing that, but oh, I wouldn't trust her. And then she goes on about LGBT stuff in school. And I says, well, yeah, a lot of, a lot of parents might want that sort of stuff for their kids. But anyway, she said we could talk on for hours, and we could have. But anyway, uh, there's a National Review person was there that did a little bit of a story. So I'll put a link to that too um, down the bottom. Now, today I'm heading over to uh, Dallas, Texas. That's that little state down the southwest of America. They have bigger cattle stations in Australia than the whole state of Texas. But, but I guess I shouldn't push that point too much as they, this nice church is paying me to go over there to speak about the UN and what I've been doing and talking about my book. And uh, that'll be interesting. It's a pity, pity we didn't organise it a bit sooner because I could have just popped over from from San Diego, would have been just on, stopped off on the way back, but there you go, my carbon footprints, not as big as Al Gore's, but uh, it's, um, yeah, it should be okay, should be okay, I don't know, we could do a bit more with a bit more carbon dioxide, the, the plants grow better and the trees grow better, everything grows better if you've got a bit of carbon dioxide, and a couple of degrees, 
I don't think that's going to hurt us. So anyway, I'm flying over there today. It's a uh, Messianic Believers Church. So they meet on the traditional Jewish Sabbath, even though they believe Jesus is the Messiah. So I'll be speaking in a church Friday night, first time, first time, uh, talking about why the world's not overpopulated. So we'll see how that goes, and and I'll be uh, trying to sell a few of the books, and uh, then then uh, Saturday I'll be coming back and. Um, have a week. Have a week here at Social Development. Uh, see, uh, see what uh, what mischief I can get into. Uh, saw a guard I knew at the UN yesterday. Um, nice chap. Always good to have a friend in security, in case someone tries to give you a bit of grief, when you shouldn't be getting a bit of grief. Sometimes I deserve a bit of grief and I get a bit of grief, but there it is. There it is. So, if any of you out there who watches this prays, please pray that I'll get out to LaGuardia. Okay, um, a little bit later today. I've never been to LaGuardia before. I normally go to Newark or JFK, so it'll be a new experience. So I'm going to try the Uber, see how the Uber app goes on my phone. You'd be amazed an old bloke like me using this this new technology. But uh, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Uh, so thanks for watching. Uh, I hope this will post up okay. Um, and God bless you.